we commonly think of arson as committed by those obsessed with fire or a crime associated with insurance fraud. But this Texas Penal Code offense, in fact, covers any situation in which someone intentionally or even recklessly starts a fire or an explosion and causes certain degrees of harm. According to the Penal Code, a person commits arson when they start a fire or cause an explosion with intent to destroy or damage any vegetation, fence, or structure on open space land or any building, habitation, or vehicle knowing it is within the limits of an incorporated city or town, it is insured, it is subject to mortgage or security interest, it is on property belonging to another, it has property within it, or the person who starts the fire or explosion is reckless about whether it will endanger the life or safety of property or persons. There is an exception to prosecution for vegetation, fence, or structure on open space land if it is part of a controlled burn on open space land, as well as a defense to prosecution of burning or exploding a building, habitation, or vehicle if the actor obtained a permit or written authorization. If a person commits arson and bodily injury or death occurs, the offense is a felony of the first degree. If the structure burned or exploded is a habitation or a place of worship, such as a church or a mosque, it is also a felony of the first degree. All other arson offenses are felonies of the second degree. Methamphetamine is not only a dangerous substance, but the process of manufacturing it is dangerous in its own right. The volatile chemicals involved are highly susceptible to causing a fire or explosion, particularly when manufactured in non-laboratory settings such as houses, motel rooms, and the trunks of cars. According to the Penal Code, a person who recklessly starts a fire or causes an explosion while manufacturing a controlled substance which damages a building, habitation, or vehicle has also committed arson. In the case of cooking meth or another similar substance, a person who starts a fire or an explosion which causes bodily injury or death has committed a felony of the third degree. All other fires or explosions that result from a meth cook or other similar conduct are state jail felonies. The final portion of the arson statute states a person who recklessly starts a fire or causes an explosion and damages or destroys a building belonging to another has also committed arson. It also states a person who starts a fire or causes an explosion which recklessly causes another person to suffer bodily injury or death has committed arson. An example of such an instance might be if a person starts burning leaves or trash and leaves the fire unattended. The unattended fire spreads to a neighbor's house and causes bodily injury or death. In such a case, arson would be punished as a state jail felony.